Hi folks and welcome to this video on energy expenditure. So what we're going to look at in this video is how we calculate the approximate number of calories uh, an individual will burn uh, during, a, during a day of, of set activities. And that involves using something called METs, uh, metabolic equivalents. But first we're going to look at BMR. So BMR stands for basal metabolic rate. Basal is in base. Be, uh, really, uh, your base rate of, meta, of, of your metabolism. So in other words, imagine you slept for 24 hours. You didn't do anything other than sleep. How many calories would you burn just maintaining your essential functions, such as minimal brain activity, heart rate, breathing rate, uh, generating enough warmth to stay alive? That is your BMR, the minimum amount of energy required to sustain essential physiological functioning. So keywords there are minimum amount of energy and sustain essential physiological functions. We are not doing anything other than lying still. But there's also something called the thermic effect of food or TEF. Now that is the energy required to eat, digest and absorb food. We are talking about a very, very small amount of energy. But you might have noticed that when you have a big meal, you actually feel quite tired. You know, that old classic thing of, of when you've had your Christmas dinner, you nod off a bit in the chair or you, you start to feel very tired. That's because your, your body's using energy to, to digest the food, to absorb it. Now, when these two combine, that's when we ultimately have, if I can just get my pen to work, that's when we have these two adding together, equaling that there. So your energy expenditure is a combination of your basal metabolic rate, the amount of energy you need to keep your essential functions uh, working, combined with the thermic effect of food, the amount of energy required to eat, digest and absorb food. Now, obviously, and unfortunately, we don't get just chance to lie around all day eating food, doing nothing. We have to do physical activity. or We do physical activity, anything from walking to playing sport. Now, all that increases the rate at which we burn calories. And what's uh, been produced to try and simplify that are things called METs or metabolic equivalent values. So the metabolic equivalent or MET is a method of calculating energy expenditure of certain activities. Now what we're gonna do now is look at some activities and look at their MET values and take you through an example of how we can calculate the number of calories burned in a day by an individual doing a certain amount of physical activity. Now, you may be asked to do this calculation in the exam. So, I don't know if you'll have to know the equation. Hand on heart, don't know that. But you will. You might be asked, as there's a big numeracy element now to the exams, you might be asked to do one of these in the exam. So, let's look at an example. Right, so we've put everything down in advance. So, hopefully, uh, we can just go straight through this. What you've got here, this is, you can get pictures like this in textbooks off the internet. This is a table of typical MET values. So volleyball, now it says here casual, so this is just playing a bit of volleyball with a friend. It wouldn't be Olympic standard volleyball. That has a score of three Mets. Now what that means is it will raise your metabolic rate, your BMR, by three times uh, if you play volleyball for an hour. If you play golf every hour that you play, it increases your metabolic rate. Well, BMR by 4.5 times, four and a half times. So all these activities have different net values. And the more strenuous they are, the more they're going to raise your BMR. So what we've got here is an example of a male or female, 24 hours in a day. Now, I hope I've done my sums right here. 8 plus 2 is 10. There's 11 hours, 18 hours, 19 hours, 24 hours. So we've got their day broken down on what they were doing per hour. Now, they've got a BMR of 71 calories Per hour, let's say. So they burn 71 calories when they're doing nothing, just running essential physiological systems, as we mentioned earlier. Now, you run those essential physiological systems when you are sleeping. So if this person sleeps at 8 out of their 24 hours, that's 8 times 71 calories per hour, they burn 568 calories whilst they are asleep. Now, that staggers some people, but we do do that. You're burning calories whilst you're asleep. This person then does two hours of dance during the 24 hour period. Dance has a met value of 4.8, so we do two hours of dance times 4.8, which is 9.6 mets. If they then also do one hour of basketball during this 24 hours, 
That's the Born net value of 8.0. So 1 times 8 equals 8 met. Seven hours studying, so sitting, maybe moving around in the library, LRC, you know, going to and from computers. That generally has a net value of 1.8 if you look on most sites, most textbooks. So seven hours of studying, which is what you might do at college or school or university, seven times 1.8 is 12.6 met. And one hour of food prep, 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 cooking. That's not sitting still ordering uh, takeaway on one of those apps or anything like that. That's actually getting, walking around the kitchen, getting food ready, 2.3 met. You know, it will raise your metabolic rate by 2.3 times. So we multiply one hour by 2.3 mets. And then five hours of reading, sitting, watching TV, etc., etc. Just really coming out. That has a met value of around about 1.5. So five hours of that, five times 1.5, 7.5 mets. Right, so with those numbers, you've seen just a quick calculation pop up here. So the total mets, 9.6 plus 8 plus 12.6 plus 2.3 plus 7.5 equals 40. So for 40, you know, they, over the course of that 24 hours, raise their BMR by 40 times effectively in a 24-hour period. So what we can now do is calculate their energy expenditure. So 568, which is the calories they burnt whilst they were asleep, added to 71 calories, their BMR, how much they would burn per hour, just running essential physiological functions, multiply that by 40 mets that they accumulated over the course of the day, and that equals 3,408 calories, which means this person, this male or female, burned 3,408 calories in this 24-hour period. That's important to know because you know, I'm sure you've been told, as I was told, males generally on average will burn two to two and a half thousand calories a day. Females, 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day. Well, this person, by doing this level of physical activity, is that many. You know, if, you, if that's a female, that's twice what a normal female would consume according to that. Nearly double for a male. So it's very, very important that we're getting this right. And that leads us in to our final thing about energy balance. So one of the big problems we have globally, but in particular in this country as well, is, you know, people being obese and overweight. But equally, people being underweight, having powerful conditions like anorexia and bulimia and things like that. So what we've got is we've got energy balance. How does, uh, how is our weight basically achieved? We have got uh, energy expenditure, which we've already looked at. Our BMR, our METs, and our, the thermic effects of food, the amount of calories it takes to digest and absorb food. That's how we spend calories, our energy expenditure. Energy intake is where we put calories into our system, and they're consumed in carbs, fats, and proteins, food and liquid form. So what we've got to do is we've got to get the energy balance right, and it's fairly straightforward. It's exactly like weighing scales. So a very crude weighing scales diagram here, but the premise is quite straightforward. If my calorie intake or my energy intake is greater calories in is greater than calories out, I am going to put weight on because I am not spending the same amount of calories as to what I am putting into my system. If my energy expenditure, so my MET set to my BMI, my thermic effects of food, is greater than the calories I am putting into my system, I will lose weight. And that's essentially what dieting is. It's a combination of increased physical activity and reduced calorie intake. If my energy intake is exactly the same as my energy expenditure, then my body weight will stay the same. And that is the energy balance idea. So whatever you put in one side, is it going to be greater or less on the other side? And that's basically energy balance and energy expenditure.